When we came up with the idea for the crush light, we tried to come up with a way where we could take all the things that Goal Zero does so well, uh, solar and batteries and lights, but how can we get all of that into something that you can just throw in a bag and take with you very easily? And that, that was kind of the idea behind um, the crush light. It has um, three brightness settings, high, medium, and low brightness settings. On high, it's uh, 60 lumens, and it'll run for three hours this way. And then all the way down to low, it'll run for actually 35 hours on this setting. It is also waterproof, with an IPX4 rating, so if you leave it outside, gets in the rain, that's no problem. It charges from solar, and it will also charge from USB, so you can plug it into any USB port and charge it that way as well. The handle, the hang handle, can actually be detached. So if you're camping, you can uh, detach that, hook it over a tent pole, something like that, hang it from that, or if the power goes out, you can hook it to something inside your closet. It's a good way to be able to hang it somewhere. So why make the light collapsible? The, the obvious answer is, you know, you can get it really, really small, so it's packable. But th there's a little more to it than that. Th some flexibility that, that, that comes along with being collapsible. You can hang it different ways, you can use the light different ways, you can expose it, you know, halfway or all the way. Um, even the solar in itself, you can point it at the sun if the sun's low. I think there's a huge range of why people need this light. Uh, on a more serious level, uh, you know, for humanitarian uh, efforts, when we go to Sandy or, or after Hurricane Harvey comes by, when things like that happen, we can take stacks of these things out. They're affordable, they're durable, they charge from solar, they're water resistant. Um, that's really exciting to me. For the same reason that, uh, that it's useful to someone uh, after Hurricane Harvey is the same reason that, you know, I recommend some, you know, keep one of these in your car, keep one of these even at the office, if the power goes out or if a, an emergency happens, you're, you have a place you can go where you know you can get light that can be recharged. It's just, you know, it doesn't take up any room. You can keep one in the glove box, keep one in your backpack, um, and you're just always ready. You just always know there's a way for you to get some light.